Hello everyone! Welcome back to Virtual Storytime. I'm so happy you could join me again this week and I'm looking forward to reading a story for you all. Before we begin, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the letter C. Can you draw it in the air with me like this? Start at the right and make a loop leftwards to make the letter C. Now the letter C is kind of a copycat. It makes the same sounds as the letters S and the letter K. So the C makes the K sound, K, K. The letter C also makes the S sound, S, S. The letter C copies the letter K, making a K sound. And the letter C copies the letter S, making a S sound. Now, I have 10 objects hidden out of frame here. Each of them begins with the letter C, and I'm going to give you all a hint, and I want you to guess which object I'm describing. Now, the first one. This one is a shape. It has one edge. It is red, but it can be any color. And this shape has a diameter and a circumference. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a circle. Good job. The word circle begins with the letter C and has a C in the center of the word, making the S and K sounds in circle. The next next object I have out of frame is a snack. This snack is salty and you can eat it with soup or with cheese and mice like to eat this food. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's some crackers. If you join me in person, I would let you eat some of my crackers, but you might have to find some of your own for virtual story time. Now the next object that begins with the letter C is also a food. This food is very sweet and you eat it on your birthday and you put candles in it and you blow them out. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a cake. Good job. What kind of cake is your favorite? The next object I'm thinking of is an article of clothing. It is something you wear on your body when it's chilly outside and it makes this noise. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> That's right, it's a coat. If this is your coat, come pick it up at the library. Now, I have one more object I'm thinking of next. It's something you eat that's also sweet and you get it at a parade or from a pinata or from your grandma maybe if she gives you a present. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's some candy. I would let you choose a piece of candy if you joined in person, but for virtual story time, you may have to provide your own candy. Now the next object I'm thinking of begins with the letter C with the S sound. This object is a creepy crawly insect and it has 100 legs. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a centipede. 
Are you afraid of centipedes? I am. I have four objects left for you to guess from. The next one begins with the letter C and it is a farm animal. I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> it's a farm animal and this object makes the sound moo, moo. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a cow. Cows are one of my favorite farm animals. They're very soft and look at how smiley he is. The next object I would like for you to guess is a vegetable. Begins with the letter C. It grows in the ground. It is orange and has a green top growing out of it. Do you know what vegetable this is? That's right, it's a carrot. The second to last object that I have here is also something that mice like to eat. It is something that comes from milk and you have to make it by churning a pail. This object can have different flavors such as Swiss, cheddar, pepper jack, or many more. And people like to eat this on their sandwiches. Do you know what object this is? It's some cheese. What kind of cheese is your favorite? I like pepper jack cheese the most. All right, last object I have hidden for you. This object begins with the letter C. It is gold and shiny. It is something you wear on your head, but only if you are a princess or a prince or a queen or a king. Do you know what object this is? That's right, it's a crown. Congratulations. You guessed all 10 objects I had that began with the letter C. I'm so proud of you. Are you ready for me to read a story for you all now? Get ready for story time. Come on in for story time, story time, story time. Come on in for story time, I'm about to read. Let's read together. Today I'm going to be reading you Clifford's Hiccups. Hick, hick, hiccup. Emily Elizabeth sat up in bed. What's that sound, she wondered. Hick, hick, hiccup. Hick, hick, hiccup. Up popped the teddy bear. Up popped the doll and up popped Emily Elizabeth. Clifford had the hiccups. Emily Elizabeth went down to breakfast. Hick, hick, hiccup. Up popped the plates and cups. Up popped the orange juice right onto Mr. Howard's head. Maybe the vet can help Clifford, said Mrs. Howard. Dr. Din checked Clifford's breathing. Hick, hick, hiccup. Clifford just has a case of the hiccups, Dr. Din said. Sooner or later, they'll go away. Outside the doctor's office, Clifford saw his friends, T-Bone and Mac. Hick, hick, hiccup. I know how to make Clifford's hiccups go away, T-Bone said to Mac. I'll give him a little scare. Boo, T-Bone shouted. Boo. But Clifford's hiccups did not go away. I know how to make your hiccups go away, Max said to Clifford. Follow me. Mac led Clifford to a kiddie pool. Shut your eyes, 
hold your ears, then turn upside down and drink, said Max. So Clifford shut his eyes, held his ears, turned upside down and drank. When, boom, T-Bone jumped out of the pool and Clifford's hiccup stopped. I did it, said T-Bone. I did it, said Mac. Hick, hick, hiccup. T-Bone and Mac were very disappointed. We really wanted to help, said T-Bone. You did help, said Clifford. You didn't make my hiccups go away, but I feel good because you tried so hard. Just then, Emily Elizabeth came by. How are your hiccups, she asked. Everyone listened. Then they listened some more. Clifford's hiccups were finally gone. The end. I hope through reading Clifford's Hiccups, you learned more about the letter C and had fun participating in my mystery game. I hope to see you next week for another virtual story time. Goodbye.